Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very well. Happy Christmas Eve! Oh my goodness, it's Christmas Eve. Are we excited? Have you eaten a lot of chocolate today? Have you? Come on now, just admit it. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. This will be my last upload until after Christmas. So um, yeah, I hope you have a fabulous Christmas. If you celebrate, if you don't, I just hope you have a nice weekend. <laughs> Whatever you may do, just make sure you eat something yummy. Watch your favorite film, be cozy, be comfortable. And um, yeah, okay, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Republican core tattoos, oh, obviously. I would absolutely butcher the pronunciation of this, but it means come and take them. Used by a lot of Second Amendment activists to show their love of guns, oh. which just makes this tattoo all the funnier. Because oh, as I'm sure you're aware, the blue line tattoo is in support of law enforcement. <laughs> you know, those who enforce laws, like for example, if confiscating guns ever became law, Mm -hmm. The ones who would enforce it. So I was tempted to throw tribal tattoos in there. But these are currently being reappropriated by the IG goth baddie types. You know, the she days. And I've said for a long time I love a good MILF tattoo. Keep it up, ladies. Maybe giving y'all rights wasn't such a bad idea. Swear to God, every support our troops motherfucker has the same goddamn tattoo. <laughs> I actually went to high school with a kid who had this exact tattoo. Oh, God. Nice guy. Actually, very nice. Y'all put too much fucking script into your goddamn tattoos. I've read oh, the Bible. Jesus. Jesus would hate this whack-ass shit. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here, but there was a lot of, oh, big yikes, big red flag tattoos there, you know, like, I'm not one to judge someone, but if I did see some kind of, like, confederate flag or someone or something, I'd probably wouldn't give them the time of day, you know? I was just like, oh, okay, hi, yeah, all right, bye, nice to see you. Not really, okay, great, thanks, bye. When you tell your tattoo artist you want a thin, straight-lined quote right oh dear but you you would have seen the stencil for a quote there's always a stencil or a freehand design beforehand because if you do a quote straight onto skin there's a chance that you'll run out of room or, you know, your, your font or your lettering will get smaller or skew if or you need some you need a guideline for a quote tattoo, okay? So you would have seen the stencil beforehand. This is this always baffles me when people are like, oh, this does not look how I wanted it to look. But I, I saw the stencil beforehand and I approved of the stencil, but this isn't what I wanted. I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't understand. More so with script. Like, you 100% will have seen a stencil beforehand of script. Oh, God, oh my God, there's another one. Me on the way to my tattoo removal consultation 12 hours after getting my tattoo. That's not good. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, you don't like girls that are tatted? Take me off the <laughs> roster. Oh, my God. God. Well, that was clearly a stick and poke tattoo because that is a bad quality, but it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. I don't know why. <laughs> it just gives me a little wholesome vibe. It just looks cute. Oh, you don't like girls that are tatted? <laughs> Take me off the roster. <laughs> Take me off the fucking roster. <laughs> I actually really like this trend on TikTok. I've seen a few myself. And um, I, don't, I feel like it just gives people with like a small amount of tattoos to have their moment to shine you know because when you see a lot of heavily tattooed people on tiktok you're just instantly drawn to them you're like wow okay but it gives people with not so many tattoos a moment to be like hey like look at what i've got i, don't, I just like it <laughs> oh i freaking love post Malone. he's so sweet it's like my daughter <laughs> Amazing. It does say in the caption, yes, I got it tattooed. <laughs> the only thing that weirds me out about this, the way people are grabbing him, I, I find that kind of weird. Like, I don't know, I've never felt the need to just grab someone. I guess people are like, oh, I grab post my life, but like, that's not really a flex to me. I don't know, I find it weird. <laughs> people telling me I copied my tattoos off Pinterest. And it's actually 
oh, that must be so freaking frustrating. I'd be like, that's me. The pictures on Pinterest is me. I'm not copying anyone. There's probably a ton of people copying him now. But like, oh, that must be so annoying. Long awaited tattoo tour. Is she a cow? Oh, I know why I've been tagged in this straight away. It's not that. It's not that. It's that. And that as well. Like, the rest are, like, whatever, okay? But I know exactly... Oh, that's faded. These are these are a whole lot of Pinterest tattoos right here. So many. I've noticed at least five. But there's one reason why I know I've been tagged in this. And if you've been around for a while, watched a, a few of my videos, you'll know I just have this hatred to people having that tattoo with, like, the hands over the eyes, that, that situation... Because that is a tattoo from an amazing line work tattoo artist who I believe is probably one of the first line work tattoo artists to specialise in sort of just minimalistic sort of body tattoos like nude portraits, eyes, whatever. There's a lot of tattoo artists that do it but they become super famous for it and their tattoos get copied all the freaking time they're on pinterest all the time and that one has been copied so many times and it just bugs me to no end and the i did a video about this makeup artist who has that exact same tattoo on her throat here and that video kind of like blew up or whatever um so yeah if you've watched that you'll know the situation but, oh, Jesus Christ, just get an original idea. It's not that hard. Stay away from Pinterest unless you need it for inspiration. But not to copy directly. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so smart. I have never thought to do something like that. To have something on the elbow because it will get bigger, won't it? I really like this. It's so cute. Oh, I love that. I know that bending that right there when it's fresh and new, that sucks. It hurts so much when you get your elbow tattooed the day after and the day after. Like, you just don't want to move your elbow at all. Getting the other side of my head tattooed today. Ooh, full on shave. Okay. Nice. Cutting out the stencil. Cleany clean. Stencil. Oh, stencil porn. Yes, here we go. Peely peely. Okay, okay. This is gonna suck. It's been done in red ink. It looks like it's been done in red ink. I'm intrigued. Or is it black? I can't tell. It is red. Red and black. I love it. That is gorgeous. Oh, I would love to do something like that, but I just don't want to go through the whole hassle of like, do I want to keep my head shaved and then the growing out and then being bored of the fact that my hair's growing out so then I shave it again. Like, it would be a whole process for me personally, but they look sick. I love tattoos like that so much. Waiting a tattoo 101 plaster. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah there's not a plaster big enough for that unless you use a bandage <laughs> i mean the assignment was done eventually <laughs> i love that oh oh i don't like that i know that's not fun oh god ouch oh god you know how i said in a few videos ago that i felt like blacking out the whole of my back and then having white ink on it and stuff yeah i feel like that's probably not a good idea I'm just watching that like all of a sudden i don't want to do it <laughs> oh that's nice oh i like that i feel like it's not completely finished but for what it looks like now oh, that is beautiful i love it gorgeous also high hair bestie she's got the uh, little blonde streak in the hair there too love it you guys know what style of tattoo sucks sticker tattoos ah oh. I, I don't know i don't know if i like them myself you know I, I'm 
might have to. I don't. Mm, I wouldn't get one myself personally. They're good quality pieces of art. I'll give them that. It's just not for me personally. I don't know if I like the whole three D effect. All right, TikTok, I know y'all are a fan of dumb tattoos. Uh, and if you've been following me, you know that earlier this year, I got my fallopian tubes removed. I have been medically sterilized. I don't have to take hormonal birth control anymore. It's great. So uh, <laughs> that little pink line is my incision scar from that surgery. And then this is one of the symbols that they use when they spay animals. This is actually <laughs> the same symbol that my cat has tattooed on her. Um, Amazing. And yeah. <laughs> I'm Spain. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's such a cute idea. Oh, I love that. She matches her cat. That's sweet. Oh, wow. That's a big back tattoo. Is it like a centipede? Millipede? What animal is that? Someone that's smart can tell me. <laughs> Wait, are we just watching him make eggs or something? Oh, I think this is like some kind of like situation. I, I'm just sitting here staring at his tattoos. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. Oh my god, obsessed. <gasps> that is gorgeous. Ooh, ouch. Oh, that's so nice. I'm obsessed. That is gorgeous. I love that so much. Yesterday I posted this video of me and the Grinch. Oh, cute. Gotta love Grinch. We had a deal. If I signed my arm, I would get it tattooed and come back and show him next year. That's huge. No way. <laughs> oh my god it's massive no way like it's cute it's wholesome but there is not a film i love that much to get it tattooed okay like that big to take up that much space i don't I actually know that's a lie i probably would but that, that's a lot <laughs> it's cute but it's a lot, okay? But, you know, you do you, boo. Hi, I'm a tattoo apprentice and these are some of my favourite tattoos from the past month or two. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's so cute. I love it. What's with the boobs? Oh, that's sweet. Love. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I like the little cute pie things. Oh, Animal Crossing, lucky. So love it. Chuck it. Oh my god. These are adorable. Oh, I love it. Oh. Why are these so cute? I would love to get one of these. I feel like an apprentice. This work is amazing. Oh, big fan. They're adorable. The boob ones, hilarious. I need help and I need advice. I'm going to start this video by saying I am in no means bashing anyone oh God. or slagging anyone off. Oh um, I had a tattoo done today and it is nothing like the picture I gave him to do. It, I cried when I saw it. Um, he apologised, gave my money back, said he's really sorry and he wants to cover it for me for free. Because he said, you're right, it doesn't look anything like your picture. Um, I'm not happy with it. I'll cover it for you. Do you trust the tattoo artist that has fucked up your tattoo to cover it? No. It's a question I'm putting out there. Do you completely cut ties and go find a different artist? Or do you give them a chance to redeem themselves and fix their work? Because if they fix it and they fuck it again... You're really fucked. <laughs> what do I do? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, is there more to this? I'm going on the profile. I'm going on the profile. Let's have a look. Hang on, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay, is there, is there any more on this? Is it just that? 
Okay, there's one here. Sorry, I'm by the main road. Don't worry, I'm not jumping in front of a car. It is not that bad. <laughs> I know a lot of people want to see the tattoo. Um, I am embarrassed about showing it. I'm embarrassed that it's on my skin and on my body. Um, I also don't want to seem like I'm attacking this tail ice because like I said in my first video, I don't want this to be a witch hunt having a go at him. I personally, looking at it now, just think this isn't his style. Um, and he tried to do something that he couldn't do and didn't yeah. have the balls to tell me that I don't think I could do this. A lot of Red his flag. tattoos are all chunky lines, male tattoos, and the ones I've had before, like my um, hearts and that, have all been fine. But I think this one was a really delicate, shaded tattoo, and he just couldn't do it, but didn't want to tell me he couldn't do it, so he tried it and failed epically. Like I said, he gave me the money back. He offered to do me a cover-up. He seemed really upset about it. Um, he liked it until I started crying. And then he's like, what's wrong? I was like, this looks nothing like it. He's like, well, what do you mean? I was like, it looks nothing like what I showed you. He's like, oh, well, I didn't think the one that you showed me would last more than a couple of years. So I changed it. I was like, well, don't you think you should have told me before you changed it and put it on my body? Yes. If you didn't think the design I showed you was good, you should have told me. And then we could have worked together or I'd have changed the positioning or made it bigger so the details could be more. Don't just change it off your own back and put it on my skin without telling me. But I have an appointment on Wednesday um, with a different tattoo artist to go and get a consultation about getting a cover up. So God knows how much that's gonna fucking cost or the pain of it, but fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll just, ugh, I don't know. Oh, I kind of, I mean, she doesn't owe anyone anything, so she doesn't have to show us. I kind of wanted to see it though, because I'm curious. This pretty much boils down to lack of communication on both sides. You know, the tattoo what I should have 100% said, the inspiration photo you've given me isn't going to work. In my opinion, it's not going to be readable, legible in a few years time. So I'm going to make it work, you know, so it lasts longer for you. He should have said that. He did her dirty with that. At the end of the day, I, it's the tattoo artist's fault here, I I would say. Oh, hang on. It says tattoo reveal at the end. There's another video. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, TikTok. So I need your help again. I have been arguing all night with the tattoo artist that did my tattoo. Oh, One minute God. he's saying he will pay for the cost and then he's unsending all of his messages and saying, um, take me to court. And then he's saying, right, I want to sort this between us before Christmas. Here are the best laser tattoo centres close by. Here's some good um, tattoo cover people. Don't tell them I'm paying or they'll up the price. Um, but let me know and I'll cover it. I'm like, okay, thanks. He woke okay. up this morning again, unsent everything. Oh, and Jesus. is saying, um, well, I never said that, take me to court. And I'm like, I've got the screenshots. I have every single screenshot of our conversation. Good I girl. screenshot everything before you unsent it. Um, but now he's saying, if I publicly admit who my tattoo artist is, I can get done. And I'm like, no, well, not really. I, 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 this is where I need help. Because publicly admitting who my tattoo artist is can't be classed as slander or defamation of character no, you're just telling the because truth. i'm not spreading lies about that exactly. person or their company i would just be admitting that i got my tattoo done by this person yeah there's nothing wrong with that any tattoo artists out there or any illegal people out there let me know and here's the reveal uh, oh god uh, okay <laughs> okay what she asked for was one of those tiny micro tattoos with a lot of detail the tattoo artist was in the right for saying that's just gonna look crap in a few years time because they do they will but he should not have changed it or he should have communicated with her to tell her what she was what he was doing because she hasn't consented to the bigger tattoo okay oh what a mess is there anything else i'm so intrigued in this hang on Okay, it says tattoo update here. Let's see what this is about. I'm on my way now to get my tattoo consultation to see if anybody can fix this monstrosity that is on my hand. Oh, God. Let's see if anyone can it fix it. It looks infected. Please. It doesn't look healthy. Yes, it is crusty and yucky. It is still healing. I know I'm not going to be able to get it fixed till after it's healed, but at least I'll get an idea if it is. I don't even know if that's going to heal right. You might be, that might work in your favour. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm back in the car 
she can cover it. She is amazing. To be fair, she was brilliant. The actual like artist, her name's Peyton. Uh, someone on here recommended her. She is so good. One of the other artists came over as well to have a look at it, and he was so supportive. And he's going to help me sort out if I need to sue, and about whether I need to cover my own back before I expose who he is. Um, okay. So they're they're amazing. Oh, okay. So I need to wait a couple of weeks for it to heal, and then as soon as it's healed. Give them a call and they're going to book me in straight away and I will be getting a cover up on this thing. Oh, bless her. Okay, I'm just going to scroll up. That was on the 8th of uh, December, so I don't think she would have had it covered since then. Um, It doesn't look like there's anything else. No, I will definitely try and keep an eye out. If you guys come across the tattoo when she gets it covered, let me know, okay? Tag me in it hardcore because I want to know about the situation. But that tattoo looked awful. Oh, yeah, the tattoo artist definitely did her day there. That's a ooh, bad situation. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until my next video, bye.